I used the blob brush to create all the artwork in this pattern. And so I want to show you a little bit about working with the blob brush in Illustrator. So I have the pattern unit art right here and I've selected the blob brush from my tool panel. The shortcut is Shift B. I've got a dark green color on my color panel and I can just start drawing line work here with the blob brush. Now I'll zoom in just to tell you a little bit more about how this tool works. Um, one of the features of this tool is that it creates lines like the paintbrush, but the minute you lift your brush tip, they are expanded into shapes. So if I just go into outline mode here, Command or Control Y, you can see these solid shapes. So this is quite a bit different from other drawing tools in Illustrator that just create a single path uh, that you apply a brush stroke to. One of the other features of this tool is that when you draw a line of the same color, the blob brush merges lines of the same color. So you can see as I'm adding these little veins here, if I go back into outline mode, you can see that merging behavior. So there are several things that you can set on the blob brush to make it work this way, or you can set it so that it doesn't have that merging behavior. If you double click on the blob brush, you can get the settings here. Right now, I have my fidelity set somewhere up around close to smooth, which I think works well for drawing little smooth flower shapes like this. And then I have keep selected checked and merge only with selection checked. Now, if I uncheck both of these, the merging behavior will happen. That's just a default feature of the blob brush. but if I uncheck Keep Selected and leave Merge only with Selection checked, then I can avoid that merging behavior. So I'll click OK here. And now I can show you that when I draw with the shape selected, it merges. But when I deselect the shape, it no longer merges. And I'm just going to draw some of these shapes, like this leaf shape here, to demonstrate. Now this isn't selected, so I can add little stems here like this. And this way, if I don't like certain things about them, I can always go back and move them, like change the spacing by just moving one down the end here. Another thing I really like about working with the blob brush is that I can make solid filled shapes like this. So let's try one of those. The blob brush, first of all, takes its color from the stroke color and then it changes into a fill color when you lift the pen. And that's just one of the things that's sort of a little different about the blob brush. I'll go to my swatches panel here and click on this orange swatch to select it and then get the blob brush from the tool panel. And we can see I'm drawing an orange. I'll delete that. Now, if I want to make one of these leaf shapes here, I don't have to worry about this merging behavior because it's in a totally different color and nothing is selected at the moment. And one of the things I like to do with this tool after I draw a shape like this, rather than going and coloring it, I'll just switch to my white arrow tool and then deselect the art and then go back in and just select this center path here and then hit the delete key two times and then that gives me a full leaf here and then I can kind of rotate it and put it into place and then send it to back so that it fits here and then I'm creating these inner leaf shapes here by just copying pasting in front commander control C commander control F and then I'll scale this down a little bit and eyedropper that color so now I have an inner shape for that leaf so now while I have this color selected, I'll go ahead and draw the leaf that goes at the top here. And again, using my white arrow, I'm just going to select the inner shape and then hit the delete key twice and send this to back, command or control left bracket. Then I'll select this lighter orange leaf to make its color active so I can draw some more leaves in this color and get the blob brush. This time I'm going to use the shortcut Shift B. And if I don't like one that I draw, I can always just select it and delete it. That happens a lot. 
when I'm working. And I can take it, rotate it, move it down, send it to back. So I'm going to keep drawing here. And I think in the next video, what I'll do is show you a little bit more about these blob brush settings. And I'm using a calligraphic brush tip to sort of save them so that I can return to the same settings. You know, if I have a session where I'm working on this and then I decide to take a break, work on another piece of art, at least I can come back and know that I've got the same settings here. Send these to back. So in the next video, we'll talk about some brush settings.